If you're looking for help on the ASVAB, you came to the right place. I'm about to go through 10 questions on the arithmetic reasoning portion of this exam. That is part of the AFQT, one of the four core contents required to get into the military. Like I said, we're only going to hit 10 questions a day, but go ahead and click the subscribe button if you want to continue on the next 10 with my next video. So how many square feet of tile are you going to need to cover a table that's a circle with a diameter of 10 feet? Well, the area of a circle is pi times radius squared. In this case, the diameter is 10 feet, so half of the diameter is the radius, meaning that the radius is going to be 5, half of this guy right here. So 5 squared is 25, so we have 25 times pi, which is about 3.14. Well, 25 times 3 is 75, so we know the only option is D. Point two, we're going to do some basic plug and chug into this formula right here. We're taking 98 degrees Fahrenheit and switching that to Celsius. The first step is to do 98 minus that 32, which is going to give me 66. Once I get there, I got to multiply that as 5 over 9. So I'm going to multiply by 5 first and then divide that whole thing by 9. 66 times 5 is going to be 330. And if I divide that by 9, it gives me about 36 and 2 thirds, also known as 0.6 repeated. So our answer here is B. Point three here, we have to find the surface area of of a room. It does say that it's going to be an 8 foot high ceiling and it's going to be 9 feet wide and 11 feet long. So area is just length times width. So if I find the area of this wall with the 9 length, that's 8 times 9, which is 72. Then the other one is 8 times 11, which is 88. If you add the two of those together, it's going to end up giving you 160. Now, here's the problem, though. There's two of each of those walls. So I'm going to multiply this by 2, and that's going to change us from 160 up to 3 20. So final answer, C. So the recipe currently serves four people, but we need to know how much broth would be needed for six people. Now it says that for four people, it's one and a half. Now six would be those four people plus another half of that, because two more. So really, I just need to find half of this and add it back to it. So what is half of 1.5? 0.75. And if I add that to the 1.5 that we already have, we're looking at 2.25, also known as 2 and 1 fourth, which is answer B. So for number 25, they tell us that this town over here is 80 miles west of this town and 60 miles north. And they want to know what a direct route would be. This is actually a Pythagorean theorem where you're going A squared plus B squared to find C squared. So we need to square each one of these, add them together, and then take the square root. Well, 80 squared is going to give me 64 for squaring the 8, and then two zeros for the zeros with 80. And then we're going to be adding that to 30. 36, zero, zero for the 60. And when you add those two together, you end up getting, what is that, 10,000? And the square root of 10,000 is just 100. So our answer is A. You made it. You're halfway there. We're at five questions out of the 10. So go ahead and take a break, hit the pause button, shake it up a little bit, and then come back and dive back into these last five. Also, if you could help me out, go ahead and hit the like button or leave a comment below. The interactions really help boost this video and help me move forward. So thanks again, and I hope you enjoy the last five questions. All right. So the sidewalk here is 27 cubic feet, and they tell you that it's six inches deep, but we're going to change that to 0.5 of a foot since this is in cubic feet right here. Then it says that the length is six times the width. So if you notice for the width here, I have X and for the length, I have six X. Now we know that all that's equal to 27. So we can go ahead and set this up that we have six times the x squared from x here and x here times a 0.5 and that's going to be equal to 27. Now 6 times a 0.5 is going to give us 3 so we have 3x squared equals 27. Then we're going to divide both sides by 3 to get x squared is equal to 9. Well what number squared gives you 9? Well that answer is 3. Now that's only the first part because now we found x but they want to know this guy so we do 6 times 3 which gives us 18 answer D. So 27 is hard because of the amount of time this will take without having a calculator. So in this case, they want to know which one of these is the least expensive per ounce. And the way that we find that is we do each of the prices divided by the number of ounces that go with that. So I'm going to go through here what the answers are. But truly, like I said, this is going to be a time issue for dividing all of these out. 21 divided by 6 ends up being 3.5. And then if I do 48 divided by 15, that should end up being about 3.2. 
56 divided by 20 is going to be 2.8, and 96 divided by 32 is exactly 3. In this case, you can see that the cheapest one, or the least expensive here, is the 2.8, which is answer C. Why? Now, the car gets 28 miles per gallon of gas, and they have to drive 364, and then they tell you the price of gas per gallon and want to know how much it's going to cost them, approximately. So, first thing I'm going to do is 364 divided by 28. Now, you do have to probably do this out the long way, but uh, working through, 28 goes into that. One, carry over, it should be 13. So, this divided by 28 is going to give us 13. Now, I have to multiply that by the 4.85. Now, it does say approximately, so I'm just going to go ahead and round this up to an even $5 at first and see what that gets us. So if I do 13 times 5, that's going to end up giving me 65. Well, this is less than 5, so the only option less than 65 is A, 63. All right, so in this case, we have to find out how many place settings a cook buys. Now, it says that each place setting has one knife, one fork and two spoons, but it does say the knife costs twice as much as the forks and spoons. So let's set the base price for the forks and spoons as X. That means altogether we would have one, two, three X's, and because this one's twice as much as those, I'm just going to count this twice as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five, meaning I have five X's for the price of, a, of this place setting. So all I have to do really here is do 540 divided by that five to see how many different place settings we got here. So 540 divided by five is equal to 108, which means our answer here is B. So in this case, we gotta find total cost. It says two dozen here. Well, a dozen's 12, so two dozen would be 24. And that's pencils, and it says pencils cost five cents each. So I'm going to be multiplying that by five. That's going to end up being 24 times five is 120, but that is as cents. So we need to move the decimal over twice to give us a dollar 20. Now, for the reams of paper, it's 3.5 or three and a half times the $7.5 dollars for that one. Well, in this case, I like counting by 75s because it's like using quarters with a dollar. And so if I do 3.5 times the 7.5 here, that would give me 2,625. But again, moving the decimals, that's 26.25. And if I add the two of those together, it's going to give us a final answer of C, 27.45. Well, that was the last 10 for this test. Thanks for joining me all the way to the end. Remember, this was arithmetic reasoning, but there's a lot of other tests to take on the ESVAB. So the next one we'll be covering is the math knowledge content, which is very similar to this, but a lot less wordy. So if you want to stick around, you can see my new video coming out on that, or check any of the videos out over here to keep practicing for your ASVAB. Again, thanks for joining me, and I wish you the best of luck on taking your tests.